The garage is probably the most versatile room in your house. Well, there's a lot you can do with your garage, but most garages will probably need a little bit of work done before this can happen. Good boy, come on. The garage floor kit provides you with a durable finish that'll protect your garage from the typical environment. The additional decorative garage floor kit not only provides an additional coating for higher durability, it delivers a beautiful decorative flake finish. The decorative garage floor kit must be used in conjunction with the garage floor kit, slate or sand. Today, I'll be using slate. It's an easy six step process that you can do within a weekend. You see, your standard garage floor is usually an uncoated concrete. It gathers dust, it stains easily, and it looks pretty unsightly. The best way to fix this is with a Dualux garage floor paint kit. It's a simple six step process that can be finished on the weekend. Before you begin painting, there's a few important facts to understand. Firstly, to ensure you apply the paint before it cures, we recommend getting a mate to help you apply. After all, two people make fast work. Secondly, we don't recommend garage floor paint for concrete floors that already have a coat of paint. Also, if it's freshly laid concrete, you'll need to wait about four weeks before you can apply any paint. And finally, before you start, make sure you allow time to remove all the contents of your garage. After applying the garage floor paint, you'll need to allow at least 24 hours before you bring them back in. Step one is preparing the surface. Now if it's worth painting, it's worth preparing the surface properly. It's as simple as purchasing a stiff bristled broom and giving your garage a good scrub, removing all dust, dirt, powder residue or poorly bound concrete. If your concrete is stained by oil or grease, you'll need to purchase a degreaser to remove as much of it as you can. Unfortunately, if you don't remove it, it'll jeopardise the paint sticking to the concrete and result in paint lifting. Once you've finished sweeping, give the garage a good hose out. The final preparation step is to etch the concrete surface to enhance the bond the paint will make with it. In your garage floor kit, you'll find a tin of etching solution. Empty the contents of the etch packet into 20 litres of warm water. Make sure you're wearing appropriate protective clothing. Once you've mixed the solution, it's time for some elbow grease. Now remember, for every three square metres of floor, you'll need to apply a minimum of a litre. Using a stiff bristled yard broom, scrub each area for about 15 minutes or until it appears clean. A bit of bubbling should occur. This task can be made simpler by using a floor scrubbing machine fitted with a scouring pad. You can hire these from your local hire stores. The concrete should feel like rough sandpaper to touch. If it doesn't, just repeat the process until it does. Then, finish the preparation stage by thoroughly washing the floor with water, ensuring the etching solution is completely gone. Then leave the floor to completely dry before repainting. Step two is mixing the paint. Now at this point, it's probably a good time to get a friend to be close by to help you to apply it quickly. In your garage floor kit, you'll find an activator and the base colour. Take the activator and pour it into the base. Using the stirrer provided, stir the liquid for about three minutes. Once it's mixed, add 400 ml of water and stir again for two minutes. Once the two paints are mixed together, you only have 40 minutes to apply the coating. This does vary depending on the temperature, so it's always best to check the instruction sheet for more details. Now for step three, the step everyone enjoys, painting. So now's the time for your mate to get their hands dirty. Perhaps split the tasks into edging and rolling. It'll help you get the job done quicker. It's a good idea to paint one square metre at a time and then move on to the next. Now using a paintbrush, paint the edges first, then immediately cover the remainder of the area using a roller until the floor is completely covered. Step four is applying the flakes. This is when you start to see real results. It's as simple as sprinkling the decorative flakes into the wet paint. Again, it's a good idea to do it one metre squared at a time. And then continue applying the paint without allowing it to dry. Keep it this routine until the entire floor is completed. Then it's time to put your feet up and have a break while you allow the paint to dry. Don't rest for too long though. The next step needs to be completed within six to 24 hours after completing step four. Step five is preparing the final decorative coat. Once again, you pour the activator into the clear base and stir for three minutes. Then add 400 ml of water and stir for two minutes before adding the non-slip additive and stirring for a further three minutes. Again, this product has a pot life, so once you've mixed it, you only have 40 minutes to apply the coating. So call up your mate again and ask for a helping hand. Step six is the final decorative coat. Now this is the last step before enjoying your new floor in your new garage. Now exactly like the other steps, try and work in one square metre areas at a time. Edging with a paintbrush and then finishing off with a roller. Keep going until the entire floor is done. 
Now, although it's tempting to use your new garage straight away, give it at least seven days before you start parking your car there. Otherwise, you're done. A brand new, hard, durable floor in the brand new room in your house. And that could be a pool room, a hobby room, a gym, a work room, a rumpus room for the kids, or a... or a dog room. You serious?